bless everyone. I pray that all is well. This is author John D. King, and you have reached the TBBC broadcast. Today is Tuesday, 6 p.m., and God is still in control. Amen. Today I just want to thank everybody for listening and having an ear to hear and also following me uh, through the course of these past couple of weeks and being a part of this ministry that is designed to reach back and help to reach back and help pull those that are not saved or inside the house of God but to reach out to the world everything that I write or everything that I talk about on this broadcast is coming out of my books everything I write comes out of my books everything that I talk about comes out of my material that I put together and this evening I want to gear this next teaching towards the men of God I've been in many conversations with men and I hear the struggles, the things that they are going through in life, the problems, uh, the circumstances that they deal with every single day. And I hear many things and the, the issues that's going on in marriages and on their job and in their personal lives and this evening I just want to give this teaching towards you I just want to let you know men of God fathers, sons uncles brothers leaders pastors apostles bishops whatever your title is I want to let you know that you are still champions no matter what it looks like on the outside no matter what it looks like what you're going through with your struggles you are still champions you are God's champion you are home now it doesn't matter if he was gone 10 years You are still a champion. You may have left the home for a week, a day, stressed, going through something. But you are still a champion. It doesn't matter what they say about you or talk about you or what they write about you. The discouragement they give you, you're still a champion. You are God's champion. You are a prodigal son. God opens his arms for a prodigal son. Man may try to discredit you try to beat you down a little bit but when you're on your way home God is always there to open his arms so no matter what you're going through these next couple of days, weeks, months, years whatever you're going through 
God is still in control. You are still a champion. You are his prodigal son. You may have took off for a while and messed up some things, but you are still a champion. forget that you are still a champion and I this lesson the backdrop of this lesson is coming out of my first book Mighty Men of Valor a book that I've written some years ago and this book done touched many hearts done taught many men that gave many men examples, encouragement. This is something that came out of one of my chapters in, in my book, Mighty Men of Valor. And if you have not yet purchased it, you can find it on Amazon or Barnes and Noble or online or you can inbox me and I can always connect with you and send you a copy but you are a champion don't don't forget that you are a champion you're a prodigal son no matter what you've done no matter what you're doing now the Bible tells us to turn and repent the Bible tells us the first turn then repent because we can't really repent from something that we are still looking at we have to turn away from it then repent come to ourselves and then work our way down that dusty back home I know there's some brothers out there I don't talk to many of them that has been talking about leaving their wives leaving their jobs just giving up on everything I just want to encourage you is don't give up it may seem hard it may look hard but I learned a long time ago that the struggles don't last forever struggles don't last forever the pressure doesn't last forever the pain does not last forever I know that you're striving to make things happen but don't give up don't step out but step in. Step in to the house of God when you need help. Step into a conversation, a men's group. Don't just step out and run from your problems or your issues. I just want to encourage you that you are a champion. You are the prodigal son. You are the prodigal son. In order for a man to fulfill God's purpose in his life, this is such a high calling. Such a high calling. It is according to God's design for him to be a champion. According to God's design for him to be a champion already been formed from the dust of the ground you already have God's imprint on you it's just up to us to steal and, and become that champion God designed for us to be 
that champion. First, it is necessary to understand the emphasis, the expectations of God's plan. It's for us to understand God's plan for our lives. People may tell us that God want us to do this, God want us to do that. But what kind of relationship do you have with God that you can go to Him for yourself and ask Him what it is for my life? What it is for my life? What is my purpose? What is my stand? What is my design? What are some of the things you need for me to do? What are some of my assignments through prayer and fasting? We will find these answers through reading our word and connecting with God daily. God himself will give us these answers. In every design, there is a purpose linked to many expectations. God has expected many changes in you. God is ready to change some things in you. Because it's important, my brothers, that we change along with the changes in life. It's time for us to change along with the changes. Life continues to change constantly. We go through things daily. Every day is a different day. Every hour is different. Every minute is different. Every second is different. It's for us to change along with the changes. For us to change along with the changes that we go through in life. It's important that we understand this. Becoming a purpose man, that's our design. That's our DNA as a champion, to becoming a purposed man. All of this will line up with effective living. I talked about effective living in my book Primitive Leadership in order for a man to become a champion for God and fulfill his purpose in life he must understand God's design and must understand God's expectations of him find out what is God expecting of you We can talk about the things God is expecting of us, but the Bible, the Word of God, gives us great detail. God is expecting husbands to be providers. God is expecting sons to be teachable. God is expecting fathers to lead. He can walk and be effective in all that he put his hands to do everything that he put his hands to do. This process is part of a natural growth, part of a design with divine order. I talked about that at the beginning of the year, divine order. I talked about the number 2017. God is 
calling for spiritual order in this year is for us as men of God, fathers, sons, brothers, to be that purpose, design, and walk and divine order. A man is to become a symbol of order. He's become a symbol of order. A symbol of order. When the prodigal son, when whom his father recognized him from afar off, he recognized that symbol of order that came back home. Added on him. He still was a champion no matter where he'd been. No matter if he got out of the pig's pen that exact same day, he was still a champion. Still a champion. His name has to be clean from scandal and unrighteousness. But with every growth, there must be seeds. There must be seeds. Every corner of the design must have a seed that can grow growth. Every seed has to have a design. Every corner has to have a design that it can grow. Not just grow, but grow growth. Every man begins, watch this, with, every plant begins with. Every man begins with, every plant begins with a small seed that grows. A plant is able to blossom. Every flower that produces a fruit, every fruit that ripens unto maturity, every man begins with a small seed that grows. Every man begins with a plant that is able to blossom. Every man begins with a flower that produces a fruit. Every man begins with a fruit that ripens onto maturity. Same thing with a plant. A plant begins with a small seed that grows. A plant that is able to blossom. Every plant begins with a flower that produces a fruit. Every plant begins with a fruit that ripens unto maturity a plant is to follow a specific design a specific divine order when you look at a plant it has an order when you look at the trees it has an order when you look at uh, the, the grass of the fields it has order the seas have order the mountains have order everything that God created has order so what's wrong with men what's wrong with mankind they have a problem with order sometimes order is part of God's design and you can see God's glorious design and order you see his glory over everything when a man follows God's specific design order when a man follows God's divine order he will run into perfection in God's eyes he, he, he was a 
God's eyes. And he will begin to see the glory of God all around him. This is a man that follow God's specific design of divine order. The plant in the man is now filling the earth with God's design and glory. I want to go to scripture. I want to uh, check out this the Genesis 1 and 28. Man is to be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. Genesis 1 and 28. Is for us to have control over our lives and the things God has put His hands for us to do, for husbands to do, for fathers to do, for sons to do, following His divine order. God said that you also have dominion over what also multiplies. We also have dominion over what multiplies. In the seas and on the earth. God did not limit us to what we have dominion He did not give us a limit. So that tells me that we can be effective. As men, we can be effective. Genesis 1, 21 and 22. Read that at your leisure when you get an opportunity. God said that you also have dominion over what also multiplies in the sea and on the earth. Men, you have been created for a specific order. Men have been created for a specific order to be a champion, to be victorious have an abundant life not to be stressed not to be going through issues and problems I know we're going to go through them but it's all about how we respond to them that will take us to the next level that will get us out of it quicker men you have been created for a specific have been created for a specific order. There's seven things here. And then my time is up. But I pray that you receive something in this half an hour. I pray that you look at your life and look at the champion that's in you. The prodigal son. The champion. The prodigal son. Seven things. Number one. God makes man in his image. And his likeness. God makes man in his image and his likeness. God blessed man. God commands man to be fruitful over everything. To be fruitful over everything. Number four, God commands man to multiply. He commands us to multiply. 
Number five, God commands man to fill the earth. Number six, man is directed to subdue all things. All things. And the final and last one, number seven. God commands man to dominate all things by accepting responsibility of all things upon the earth that under the dominion of his leadership. And what I mean by that, and it can go further, you are leaders. It doesn't matter if you don't, if you don't have a title or a license. If you have a child, a leader, your responsibility is to teach and lead that child. That's your responsibility. And right now, my brothers, I pray that you receive something from this half an hour. You receive something of encouragement. You receive something that you are blessed from it. Because tonight, this is geared towards you. This lesson, I used my book as a backdrop of it. Some of this came out of my book. Genesis 1 and 28. I want you to respond to me. Write something. Let me know how you feel. Inbox me privately to let me know what's going on in your life. If you need uh, me to touch and agree with you for prayer. Amen. Maybe you have an encouraging word for me. I need encouragement sometime. But right now, brothers, I, I have to sign off. And I pray that you receive something. I pray that everyone that was listening receive something. And ladies, are you listen, if you're listening, share this with your husband. Just my book for him, Mighty Men of Valor. Amen. So I pray that everyone receive this. I pray the presence of God over your life. I pray that whatever you do, make sure that you honor God in everything you do. Make sure whatever you put your hands to do, it honors God. And brothers, I pray that all is well. This is John D. King. God bless. Stay faithful. Stay true.